Let's balance the net ionic equation for SrOH2 plus HBr. We're talking about strontium hydroxide plus hydrobromic acid. So the first thing with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. I've already balanced the molecular equation here for you, so that's already done. Next, we'll write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. Our strontium hydroxide, that's considered a strong base, so that'll be aqueous. Hydrobromic acid's considered a strong acid. These two react, this is a neutralization reaction. The salt, strontium bromide, compounds with the bromide ion, they're gonna be soluble most of the time, so this is aqueous. And then water, that's a liquid. So these are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's gonna give us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. You'll note that we kept the water together. We don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations. So at this point, we'll cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants, I have the strontium ion. I also have that in the products. That's a spectator ion. We're gonna cross that out. I have two bromide ions in the reactants and in the products. These are spectator ions. We can cross those out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for SrOH2 plus HBr. Because we have the same coefficient in front of each substance, the two, we can reduce that down to one. And we don't write the one by convention. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for the strontium hydroxide and hydrobromic acid. You'll note that charge is balanced. We have a plus and a minus. That gives us a net charge of zero. Over here in the products, neutral compound net charge of zero. And if you count the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.